Journal Entry 20 The Killing of a Dragon The War Master had a special assignment for people wanting to volunteer. Apparently some Char Warbands had been chasing down a dragon, and the Vigil had been asked to lend some support in the killing of the beast. Of course I volunteered without hesitation. Finally I would kill a beast, and the hope that it would be the one started to grow somewhere deep inside of me. We set out by the morning, got there by chopper. I don't think that Fredrickson likes to fly, but he trusted me so getting him on board wasn't a big issue. The space inside was limited, as always. I think our chapter could use one of those airships instead. They seem much more comfortable. Not sure if I should bring this up with the Moor Master though. The Char was staring when we marched into their camp. Maybe they didn't know that both our War Master as well as Tactician are human. Quiz the Black Moor was the only Char present. Somehow it felt good to be marching into their camp with a force mostly made up of humans and that they were the ones asking us to come. After some initial formal greetings we set out to find the beast. We entered what they call the Brand, a skull left by the elder dragon Krakatoric where no life exists. Instead everything is turned to crystal, both land and creatures. I got assigned to scouting duties together with some char. They were good, that much I can say. But we did not find the dragon, what we found was an abandoned fort that came to service our camp for the night. It became clear how tired everyone was when we set up guards to watch the entrance to the camp. People were allowed outside on camp alone, others asked me to cover for them while they sneaked off to do something more interesting than to stand guard. And when I brought this up to the war master, she just shrugged it off. After a while that non woman car came and told me to abandon my post. Since I do not take orders from her, and it was still my shift I refused, which caused her to lift me up and punch me in my stomach. In Kryta she would hang for that. Sometimes I really miss the minister god. I did not start a fight with her, so I walked away. Selina came by, but I don't think she saw what happened. I really wanted to pick up my bags and leave right then and there. No discipline, and people of my own chapter punching me just because I do my duty. I feel more and more that this leads nowhere. The day after I tried to bring it up with the war master. But since we were focused on the dragon, the war master asked to come seek me up after the beast had been killed. This day the char showed their true face. They ignored us all, but mostly our war master. Maybe because they saw our lack of discipline. But they were hardly any better than us. The dragon attacked the camp when we were waiting for tanks to come and support us. Lucky for us, no one got killed. We set out after the beast and found it guarding some giant eggs. With the help from the tanks and explosives, we managed to bring the dragon down and make the stone walls around it cave in and bury it. I immediately saw that this wasn't the one. It never saw me either, but it is dead now anyway, so I guess it was a good day's deed. We escorted the char to a camp and then got ourselves a chopper lift back to Vigil Keep. As soon as we reached the keep, everyone went to tend to themselves. The war master did not come seek me up as she promised. I guess she forgot, so I went to sleep. The morning after, I packed my things and sought her out. I am not letting Carr get away with this. I want her out of the chapter. I informed the war master of what had happened, and I even was bold enough to demand that she be released of duty from the chapter. The war master immediately refused. She has a history of forgiving, promising fighters, so why was I even surprised? She said she would deal with the car. It will be interesting to see exactly how she deals with her. Very interesting. After saying goodbye to some chapter members, I started the walk home. P.S. Norn and Char do not know what classy means, and probably thinks that the sweetest scents are blood, ale and sweat. It would be nice to get back to divinity's reach.